Hello there. Well, something I always love to do um, when I practice is I always make sure that I'm putting time into the basic rudiments. Um, in particular, um, things like singles and doubles, paradiddles, flam, buzzers, some which have called it the golden five rudiments. They're not the, you know, um, they're not the only rudiments. There's a lot of rudiments, but these the, there's a particular few that I always make sure I'm concentrating on every single practice. Um, now, the double stroke roll exercise I'm going to start with is something that my uh, very first drum teacher, Mr. Kevin Simmons, taught me back in good old Golden Square High School. And it's crotchets, quavers, and semi quavers. So just crotchets, quavers, semi quavers. So nice and simple in its rhythm, and just a lot of repetition. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go off into some different double stroke roll combinations. Uh, the five stroke roll, there's a six stroke roll, there's a few different variations of these rolls. You've got the seven stroke roll, ten stroke roll, four doubles, two singles, maybe even a thirteen stroke roll. Six doubles in a single. Now, I'm going to play these up tempo, but once again, uh, double stroke rolls. They can be tricky to master, but please stick with it. Um, if going slow is where you need to be, go slow. Once you've got confidence with these, speed will naturally start to come. Although with double strokes, obviously, you, you will need to eventually uh, lock in with a rebound, be able to get the rebound going. So rebounds are a really important rebounds are a really important thing to practice. Rebounds are benefit like they 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 they're really really beneficial to being able to play uh, fast but very relaxed. So make sure you're always practicing rebounds, just getting that stick to bounce back naturally in your hands. So um, I'd also like to uh, give a shout out to Tommy Igo um, because I started traditional grip very late in my uh, career, like very late. Only in the last four or five years did I actually start thinking I could actually do traditional grip um, because my teachers previously hadn't really gotten into traditional grip with me. Um, they tended to stay away from traditional grip. Even though they did perform like that, they tended to stay away and just teach match grip. Um, don't get me wrong, great teachers, but it was when I saw Tommy Igo's DVD, Great Hands for a Lifetime, um, a very simplistic way of approaching traditional grip with the rebounds and the fulcrum, it really resonated with me. So if you, if you ever watch this, thank you very much, Tommy Igo. Um, I appreciate it. I'm now actually using traditional grip in my performances, which um, uh, it's almost like a bit of a dream come true because this always felt very natural to me when I would grab the sticks like this. So once again, traditional match grip, it's, it's up to you. Um, basically, you know, you can achieve the same thing. All right, so here we go. Here's some doubles for you, starting with uh, the warm up. Again, that's just combinations of different uh, double stroke roll uh, variations. So um, they're fun on the practice pad, but they're also a lot of fun to play around the drum kit. So, so yeah, that's something that I always make sure I practice um, every single time I'm on the practice pad or the drums, just always making sure I'm covering those uh, basic rudiments because they're really important 
and they don't have to all be practice pad. Um, you can make them as interesting as you want by moving them around the drum kit and trying them in that context will hopefully give you some ideas for drum fills too, which is really good because it means that you're getting your rudiments into your playing straight away. So thanks for watching.